Coco! 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 <laughs> News from the north! Flails report Black Waven have crushed Shortheem! High City of Tours in search of the last remaining wizards! You gotta hurry up in your training! Hold on there, Byron, calm down. I'm working as fast as my powerful abilities lead. Here, check this out. It's my newest spell. I'm telling you all, if I do believe my summoning skills are improving, I may very well get my first familiar soon. <laughs> okay, <clears throat> now, watch. Hmm? Isn't it just wonderful? Oh, I'm so proud. I don't. I can't. It's, it's just, I, just, I can't. Just look at its intricacy. Am I missing something? W what do you mean? It certainly is thorny. Can it trip a squirrel? Huh? We could use some fresh meat. Hey, don't disparage the flower. Face it, <sighs> we're dragon dung if you don't learn to study something useful for once. <laughs> Happened to you. Ugh. Coco's in a bad mood. You're another flower, huh? Man, I guess that means no way from Gaia still. Yeah, well, we'll get our order soon enough. After all, he's one of the only wizards who still has a seen contact with her. Alright, pack up. Leave what we don't need. We travel light. Coco, you give us that every time you stop for your benign training sessions. Maybe you'd like to leave yourself behind. If only. Now pack up! If my zodiac readings are correct, and they always are, we should be close to Glory Kingdom. Ugh, there's no reasoning with them, is there? Nah, I'm sure there'll be a connection with Gaia in town. Town? Well, Coco's zodiac readings. <sighs> Coco's an idiot, look! Alright, fellas, I'm packed. And today's ride down this mountain to Glory Kingdom, so make sure you bring enough food and provisions. Uh, emphasis on the food. Should we tell him? We could! Or we could take bets on how long he will wander in the mountains before Gaia finally tells him Glory Kingdom is to the mountains north of us. Alright, based on the trajectory between the three stars above the moon, and the clouds heading north, I'd say we are lost. No, don't give up hope yet, gentlemen and gentle elves. Hey, Coco, Gaia's struggling on a golem, right? Correct. If we catch it now, it's possible she could finally appear to us. But he couldn't possibly be near one now. Golems only live near cold and dry climates, usually rocky. Possibly a few pine trees nearby. Um... Merlin's chest hair, it is possible! Why do you see it, Harfek? Uh, yep. Golem approaching from the east. It, it appears to be made of rock. Really? I didn't realize. Firen, I'm disappointed at you. That was just my fault. Why do you elves have such big ears if you can't even hear a giant walking mountain coming? He's closing in! Okay, men. I mean, man. And elf. Defensive positions. Distract him while I move up to that cliff. Lure him to those two trees. Yes, sir. Wait. Distract? How? A good way to start is move as far away from me. All right. This is my last exploding arrowhead. Is this a normal battle situation? <sighs> you gotta be kidding me. Okay, what now? I said, is this the normal battle situation? What? Later, later away from the battle and we help him? Screw it. Sacrificing myself for a man I don't even like wasn't in the job description. Anyway, back to the golem. Okay, we meet at that tree. Break on three. We are retreating. One, two, three, go! Wow. These guys really know what they're doing. It is nice to be with people that actually take orders seriously. Byron, hurry! We gotta do this, Coco! Hey, Gum! Why don't you pick up someone your own size? I got you, overgrown pebble. You should have hated your own advice. What? What are you doing? I'm 40 feet smaller than you. Put that down now! No! That's right! I am Coco the Wizard, High Member of Order of the Scepter, and you will fear my flower! <laughs>